Rice Hall. We're gonna walk together to Parklet. We've both been wanting to go there together. She actually brought me to the first one in Nihonbashi. And ever since then, you know, it's been such a fail-safe for really good bread. And it's not super cheap, but I could really recommend it if you're looking for some good and reliable baked goods here in Tokyo. Yeah, I really like this neighborhood. I was here a few weeks ago with my friend Marina. We both talked about how this area is like a quieter part. Technically, it's still part of Shibuya. So yeah, it's just more residential and a lot of hole-in-the-wall mom-and-pop stores. Except Parklet. Parklet's not really a mom-and-pop store. It's quite huge. That is so a mouthful. <laughs> We're back. Miss Rice and I are back. We are walking to Guy and Maya Station, taking Raisa through a jogging route that I normally take. It's much nicer in the fall because all these trees turn yellow. Um, but for now, they're all green still. Worst thing about them is that during the summer there might be insects that, or how do you call it? Semi. Cica, cicadas. Um, that could fall on you. But hopefully, this isn't the type of tree that they emerge from. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear, there are a lot of people chanting in the background because there's a baseball game happening right now. to go to Asakusa for a client. I'm going to be writing three articles for this brand and I'm quite nervous because it's been a while since I've written an article for a client. It's normally just me making sure that the posts on the blog are updated and coordinating with writers about the different destinations the travel cards that they send in for our travel site and yeah i'm excited but nervous i'm trying not to overthink it it is a lot of fun i think like the experiences that i get to go on are something i wouldn't normally be able to so i just try to soak it in tonight i do have to go on a run it's like it's going to calibrate the training program that i'm going to go on because i don't know if i've mentioned this yet but i got into the london marathon through the general lottery and the time limit is 8 hours, so there's really no pressure, but I do want to be able to finish that distance. 42 kilometers and a bit is a long way to go. And I think the furthest I've gone until now is like 12 or 13. So yeah, it's a lot to train for. I've never thought about going to London, but my late grandfather, it was his favorite city. And my late grandfather also really loved to run. So I feel like by going and just doing my best, it's really like just for him, like an ode to him and to myself to prove to myself that I can do something really difficult. The visas and all of that, like that always makes me so nervous applying for visas. <sighs> I have to prepare. So yeah, we'll probably have lunch in Asakusa and then we're gonna meet up with Matt Smith. So yeah, let's go do that. I literally just woke up. Made it to Kapabashi. I'm going to go have an early lunch and then head to the first location. But first, let's have lunch at Denny.
I just finished giving my lessons at May and Shogun and I are still trying to figure out what we're gonna do today because I say it in every video but only because it's true the humidity is killing me I, I really haven't decided what I'm gonna do today I'll probably just eat brunch out and then go home because uh, it is brutal out here Today is the day of the Tanabata festival, which means it's July 7. And we're gonna go to Asagaya, which is in Suginamiku, just a few stops away from Shinjuku. We haven't gone there in a while. I think it might even be our second or third time there in I don't know how long. But today's the day Orihime and Hikoboshi are finally going to meet after a year of being apart, and everyone's going to write down their wishes on like vertical strips of paper and they're gonna hang it on a bamboo tree. So I'm excited. I haven't gone to a Tanabata festival. They have bigger festivals all over Japan. So we're gonna go get some gelato and yeah, just check it out for a bit. I don't think we're gonna stay too long. Yesterday when we got home, we were thinking about what we should do, but then it suddenly started to rain. There's even a bit of thunder and lightning. So we decided to stay in and finish all episodes of Shogun, which I highly recommend you guys check out. Let's go to Asagaya. So something happened when we were on the train. Do you want to tell them what happened? Oh, uh, so I thought there is festival in Asagaya. Apparently, I misunderstood it was in actually in August. For next month, which is weird because Tanabata festival is today. But I mean, Tanabata is today. Yeah, July 7th. it's today. But, but they do for some it in reason, August. yeah. So I was like, um. Yeah, kind of weird, but we're gonna go and get frozen yogurt and we're gonna go to an art museum Shogo found in a panic because he felt so guilty that he got the date wrong. Let's wait, let's wait. Mm -hmm. We are waiting in line for the yogurt shop. Shogo really likes these cheap sunglasses he bought at Decathlon, Decathlon yeah, when yeah. we went to Manila. I think it was like his best buy of the trip. club this evening. I've been wanting to join this run club for a while but I was just so intimidated with the pace that they go at um, because for me I am a slow runner. I love doing zone 2 runs even if they take forever the pace and their effort is so easy that I feel like I can just go on forever um, but this run club r does run a little bit faster so I'm excited to push myself and meet new people. Luckily, a few weeks ago, I was able to meet another friend, another new friend, who testified that this is actually a really fun run club and she does go regularly, so it would be nice to see a familiar face. Shogo's also going tonight. He's not really interested in running so much, but he will run if I'm going to run, so I have him to thank for never really feeling alone when I go on these runs. Um, and yeah, I'll tell you guys how it goes. I don't normally push myself so hard when I go on a run because I do just enjoy it for the vibes. Like that's really why I go. I like to just 
sweat out all the stressors, all the anxieties from the day and just go and listen to some music. Lately I've been listening to Charlie XCX. You guys should listen to her new album, Brat. It's really fun. Um, and yeah, I really do enjoy documenting my running journey. It started late last year, maybe December of last year. Like the, the start start. And then throughout the first half of this year, I've been really trying to stay consistent and I'm really proud that I have. If you've been thinking about running, the best advice that was ever given to me by my office mate was that you just have to run at your pace. Don't think that you have to run too fast. And if there's no shame in walking in between your runs, uh, honestly, I'm a big advocate for zone two. Do a little bit more research on it. Maybe it's for you. I just really enjoy it, honestly. And uh, I'm trying to think of any other updates I have for you guys. I have been watching a lot of shows lately. In general, like one of the best feelings is to just have a show that you're following. So I am currently watching House of the Dragon. I finished Shogun. I rewatched Pachinko. And what else? The Boys, I've also been watching that. And by the time I finish all of that, I'm going to go into the, la uh, the latest season of The Bear. And the reason why I'm kind of like trickling it down is because I just always love the feeling of having a show, like something to look forward to every Monday, every Thursday. It just, I don't know, I, I feel like having something to look forward to makes life even more interesting and more exciting. So it doesn't have to be like a trip. It can just be as simple as watching a TV show. Or in some cases, I really look forward to uploads by my favorite YouTubers in Japan and abroad. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Another thing that's been on repeat, like I mentioned earlier, is Charlie's new album, Charlie XCX's new album, Brat. I love the song Apple. I think it really speaks to me on a deeper level and I love running to that album. It's just so much fun to listen to. I just really miss talking to you guys. I hope you're all fine. I might, might be looking into planning a meet, a meetup um, in Mandela because it's been so overdue and I have you guys to thank for helping me grow this platform and this community. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,